traditionally, regulatory agencies have approached our mobility needs as an engineering problem. Today, a diversity of transportation options and changing preferences for where folks want to live require a more personal approach. The Texas Department of Transportation, with help from the Center for Transportation Research, is working proactively to determine what travelers need from their future transportation system. The thing is, we know change is coming, um, and that's going to impact the way we travel. And so being able to account for this, getting insight into people's behaviors in these types of situations that are arising um, are going to let us um, better meet their needs in the future. What we are trying to do is, can we learn something today from preferences so that we can plan for tomorrow? We cannot obviously wait for tomorrow until tomorrow comes because we need to start planning today. And so the issue is, how can we accomplish that? This study began as a way to look into using stated preference questions in our travel surveys. So currently, uh, we use the travel survey um, and the responses to those questions to develop our travel demand model. The questions that we use to develop the travel demand model are all revealed preference questions. So they ask about what someone's actually done. They ask about what trips they've made, what roads they've taken, the transportation mode used. Unlike revealed preference questions, stated preference questions help us get insights into situations that don't yet exist. So for example, after the height of the COVID pandemic and working from home, we're in a period of transition. Companies are rethinking telecommuting policies, and as they begin to change, we can't just use past behavior or revealed preferences to predict future behavior. Instead, we may turn to stated preference questions. Specifically, this research project seeks to use questions about people's workplace preferences to gain insights and plan for future commuting patterns. We found single women with young children, people with long commutes, those who have private study areas in their homes, self-employed, non-essential service workers, they all preferred um, to work from home. Um, on the other hand, older men, um, people from lower income houses, people living in rural areas, and those in essential occupations prefer to work from the office. And then non-single women uh, with young, young children, low income households, part-time employees and professional managerial or uh, finance occupations have the highest predisposition for working from a third workplace. In the past uh, 20 years or so, uh, planning has gone into a more proactive role as opposed to a reactive. But I think the difference today is that many of these things that we see today are not going to go into tomorrow. We cannot wait to plan. That has to start today. And that's what our project helps with. For more information and to find the publication for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.